Hi everyone, happy Sentinels Tuesday. Got some catching up to do, so we're doing a two for one special. First of all, we've got the brand new Cauldron Hero Gyrosaur, who was just released a couple of days ago. Very excited to test her out. And we will be fighting Mythos, who is Titan's nemesis. If you've played Titan before, you would recognize him from the Immolate card. He's the dude who's the skull in the in the brain case, and he's got a suit, and he's on fire. I guess he's not usually on fire. To round out the team, we've got Skyscraper Extremist to commit commemorate her year opening letters page and also because she's favorite i've got malachi who is another favorite of mine and the naturalist because i haven't actually played any of his legitimate variants yet and we're playing the block so let's take a look at mythos insubstantial rumor he's got 48 hit points at the start of the game he enters play in substantial rumor side up and he starts with dangerous investigation mythos and dangerous investigation are indestructible activate any it's like red crystals green brain or blue eye effects that match the icon on top of the villain deck so much like the naturalist he's got three forms essentially and it's based on which card is on top of his deck this is a really interesting gimmick and i'm fascinated by how this is going to play out if red is on top as it is now mythos is immune to damage so it's worth noting that on this side he's just indestructible he won't always be immune to damage but when he isn't we can kill him he'll stay in play and then when he flips he'll just be dead and tosx has said yeah that's that's fine at the end of the villain turn the players may play up to five cards from the top of the villain deck then if there are h tokens on dangerous investigation flip mythos villain character card so what we're trying to do is get enough cards played in the right order that we can flip him players are allowed to check card backs in the villain deck at any time don't look at the front of the cards or rearrange the deck oh that's interesting and also new so i can go like that say okay the next one's blue which is important because of dangerous investigation blue at the end of the villain turn the players may play the top card of the villain deck to add a token to this card so we're looking to get four tokens on the card in the villain turn he deals the x hero targets the highest hp three infernal damage each where x is h minus the number of villain cards the players chose to play this turn so the more cards we play the less damage we'll take minus whatever the cards themselves actually do so he's going to start us off by playing oh Eclistiff, who peers so he is an ancient spawn and at the end of the villain turn he does something depending on what the icon is he's the only card who does this well and is a target he's no longer immune to damage we can play up to five cards from the top of the villain deck we want to be able to just play this one since it's blue to add a token to the card so we're not going to play any extra cards which will mean that we'll take a little bit of extra damage but we will go ahead and play this card and put a token on dangerous investigation and we get torn page first time each turn that a hero card is drawn a hero card enters play or a power is used in this case it's power and this card deals that hero two infernal damage and two psychic damage wow so let's see uh, mythos deals the x hero targets the highest hp three infernal damage each where x is four minus the number of villain cards we chose to play this turn so we chose to play one so three of us will get hit for three so that's skyscraper it's everybody but malachi aklostiff who peers regains two hp and then discards the top card of the villain deck oh what a jerk that was a blue card and the next one is green i'm assuming that the reason why you can look at the backs is so you know how many cards to play like oh geez look at this green red green green blue so if we play five cards this next turn we'll be able to get down to a blue card and continue the investigation all right so here's gyrosaur her power is rollout if you have at least two crash cards in your hand she deals up to three targets one melee damage each if not draw a card so she's got cards with the crash keyword these can include ongoings they include one shots and depending how many you have in your hand right now i've got one changes how she uses her abilities all right so i'm going to start off by playing her gyro stabilizer which is a very very useful card equipment limited when this card is played discard up to three cards draw as many cards as you discarded this way whenever you evaluate the number of crash cards in your hand you may treat it as being one higher or one lower than it is so i'm going to discard this card and draw one puts me up to two crash cards in hand i have at least two crash cards in my hand so i can use rollout deal up to three targets one melee damage each we're going to get rid of this thing because damn and we'll hit act the stiff for one and we'll hit mythos for one and then she draws a card off to a good start skyscraper ooh, is going to begin with proportionist because that's really important for her improvise she doesn't have oh i guess she does have a link let's give that to Malachi. Malachi's got equipment. Yeah, might want that. We'll play the bottom card of her deck. Ooh, it's a compulsion canister. Throw that on Mythos and draw a card. Malachi. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use Prismatic Vision. In your hand, one in your trash, and you may play a G Grand High Grand. This, gee, 
Jeez. Play a gin now, except I ain't got no gins to play. Draw two cards, discard a card. Yeah, let's do that. Wow, I've got like all the grand and high gins I could possibly want, which is completely unhelpful. I'll play Crafty Assault and do some damage. Not quite hit him. And then we're going to go for Crocodile because that's the best form. Draw a card. The block. Imprisoned Rogue. Okay. So yeah, he doesn't do anything at the start or end of the turn himself. He's not currently immune to damage. He acts at the end of the turn. Okay. So we play a card. Hallucinated Horror. Red or green. When this card enters play, play the top card of the villain deck. Alright, so we're going to be doing that. Prey Upon the Mind. Destroy two hero ongoing cards. Oh, damn. That means I lose proportionist. And then green. So everybody discard a card. End of the villain turn. Destroy this card when a hero is dealt damage by another hero target. Oh, that's something I can do easily with Skyscraper around. And Gyrosaur, come to think of it. Okay, we need to play, I think, two more cards. I'm actually not certain why that's there because, I mean, I can just be like, okay, I'm going to play a card. That's one. Still green, so we're going to be playing another one. Your darkest secrets. Discard the top card of each hero deck. With those deals, each hero one infernal damage for each card in their hand that shares a keyword with the card discarded from their deck. So, one shot crash. One, two, three damage. Equipment Link, she takes no damage. One shot. One, two, three. Ongoing. One. Okay, so that was our first card played. Second card. Revelations. Mythos regains 4 HP for each environment card in play. Move two cards from the villain trash to the bottom of the villain deck. Ah, okay, let's do that, and why not that one? So we're getting our blue clue cards back into play, because those are very important. And then the next card is green, so each minion regains 4 HP. Is that a minion? No, no. Good. That was two cards played. Third card played. Aha, here here we go. Hallucinated Horror. We're gonna take a bunch of damage. Um, that only acts on a red or green, so that's it. So we played three cards off the deck. Not bad. And then we do Dangerous Investigation, so we can play another card because this is blue, and add a token. Rusted Artifact Relic. Increased damage dealt to hero targets by one. Oh, that was really not a good time for that to come out. This card is immune to damage and indestructible because red and green. Shit. So that's interesting because we need to leave a blue card on top of the deck to get rid of that. Alright. Current card is green, so Atlas Stiff deals each other target one psychic damage. Damage. Interesting. We all take two. And then the hallucinated horrors deal each hero target two, three sonic damage. So everybody's taking six. Okay, we're gonna play Wipeout. Gyrosaur deals up to X targets four melee damage each, then deals herself X melee damage, where X is one plus the number of crash cards in your hand. So right now I've got one crash card in my hand, so that's two. I'm gonna hit Aklastiff, because he sucks. Hit Mythos. And then she hits herself for two. Oh, darn, that doesn't get rid of the hallucinated horrors. Sad face. So I can evaluate this as being two crash cards in my hand, since I have the gyro stabilizer. I'll go ahead and hit him for one, and I'll hit, I'll hit the hallucinated horrors for one each. Oh! Okay, Skyscraper's having a little trouble. She's going to take a crap load of damage if she puts up Therathian Monolith, but I kind of feel like I need to do that. No, actually, I'm going to do Explosive Reveal. Drop that and hit him for two and two. And then, oh, she has a Link card in her trash that she can get. With the bottom card of her deck. Oh, Proportionist! Excellent. Here's hoping it doesn't get blown up. <laughs> okay, we're actually going to get a friggin' Jin out. Um, Reshiel. That sounds good. Shuffle your deck. You may draw a card. You may play a card. We're going to play Reshiel. And I'll we'll use Traveler. Draw a card. And then Reshiel's going to do up two targets, one Sonic damage each. So he'll have Mythos. And he's going to hit Skyscraper, which will destroy both of the Hallucinated Horrors. Not now natural forms power, and then we will transform into Deadly Crocodile again. Again. Draw a card. Okay, the rogue does nothing. Block guard. He hits the non-engine target with the lowest HP. Oh, that would be this relic that can't be damaged. Awesome. Okay, well, it's serving a purpose. Plays a green card. Clockwork Revenant. Minion. Red card says increased damage dealt with this card by X, where X is 10 minus its current HP. We'll want to beat that up. So, we need to get a blue card on top. That's the next one. So we're going to play one card. Faithful Proselyte. Green doesn't get anything. He just deals more damage. Okay, the next one's blue. So that means we can play the card for Dangerous Investigation and still be able to kill the Relic. So let's do that. Put that third token on Dangerous Investigation. We get a Torn Page. And there's still a blue card on top of the deck. And then he deals three Infernal damage to two highest. All right. Steals the hero target with the highest HP to three melee damage. Naturals to take it. Steals the hero target with the second highest HP four lightning damage. That's also naturalist. Whenever power is used, this card deals that hero two infernal and two psychic damage. Okay, 
So, she's got two crash cards. We're going to use Ricochet. Gyrosaur deals a target two melee damage. She deals a second target X melee damage, where X is the amount of damage she dealt to the first target. Reduce the next damage dealt by non-hero targets damage this way to zero. So we're going to hit Mythos. The funny thing is I could Ricochet off of one of the other heroes to increase the second damage by one, but I don't think we'll do that. So his next one technically is not a cannot deal damage, but you, you get what I'm going for here. And then we'll hit the Clockwork Revenant, just in case that feels like doing extra damage. Damage. And then we're going to roll out. So I've got one crash. We'll up that to two so she can do three targets, one damage each. We'll take out that fucking thing. We'll take out this fucking thing. And we're going to hit the proselyte because he's doing lots of damage. And we can probably kill him this round. Okay, I'm already having a crap load of fun with Gyrosaur. Play this compulsion canister over here. Since I didn't waste the damage thing on him and have him hit Mythos. And then we'll pull a card from her trash and play the long card of her deck. Hey, there we go. Colossal left hook. So, get biggity big. Means I hit everything for one. Try and leave him in place so the block guard can take him out. And then I hit something for three. And then I can discard a card to play a card. Yeah, we'll go with Therathian Monolith. We'll risk it. This is usually when she dies. Okay, Malachi has all the things. Yeah, let's play Hyrule Shield. Increases damage by one. Go ahead and, yeah, just draw two and discard one. And then Reshiel's going to do two targets, two Sonic damage. All right. Actually, Crocodile now. Let's do the Predator's Eye. And I'll hit Mythos for three, four, five damage. And then I'll hit him for another two, three, four damage. Oh, yeah. Now, the only problem is with that blue card on top of his deck, it could take a number of card plays to get that last token. And then we still have to wait another round. Okay. Oh, I was wrong. The Imprisoned Rogue kills the block guard. Lockdown kills the Imprisoned Rogue. Right back at you. Okay, that's it for them. So he plays a card, and he's immune to damage now. Whispers and Lies. Ongoing. Into the villain, turn the villain target with the lowest HP, deals the hero target with the highest HP to sonic damage. If there is a green, we all get the power to shuffle two cards from the villain trash into the villain deck. That's neat. Okay, so we need another blue card. Let's see, that doesn't do anything. That increases his damage. If we play four cards, we'll get it. All right, otherworldly alignment. Into the villain turn, Mythos deals the hero target with the... Okay, so that's another one that does different things depending on what's on top of the deck. He gets it again. Uh-oh. Card number three. Ah, destroy two hero ongoing cards. Well, the next one is green at least. Oh, yeah, we're going to drop naturalist stuff, unfortunately. And then the last one is Dr. Von Faust, the mad scientist. He's kind of messed up looking. Reduce damage dealt to this card by two. Okay, so blue card so we can play one more to get that last token. Oh, damn. That set he'll flip at the end of his next villain turn. Pallid Academic. This card into play put all ongoing cards in the villain trash into play. I think there was one? No. Okay, thank goodness. This is where I could really use that crafty assault. Oh, boy. Ooh, whenever a hero target is dealt damage by another hero target, if the top card is green, you can move the bottom card of a deck to the top of that deck. So like right now, we know that there are two blue cards on the bottom of the deck. Granted, the current one is blue, but if it wasn't blue, then, you know, we could do something about that. All right, we played four cards, so he deals no damage. He still has that reduced to zero from Gyrosaur. The Clockwork Revenant deals zero damage. This guy is going to do one lightning damage to Skyscraper. Villain target with lowest HP deals no damage to Skyscraper. We have blue. At the end of the villain turn, Mythos deals the hero target with the lowest HP, H psychic damage, so she's going to take two and two. In the villain turn, search the villain deck for a clockwork revenant and put it into play, shuffle the villain deck. There is one more. So that's kind of a problem because if no card is found this way, oh, and I know shuffling the villain deck changed the top card. That's interesting. No card was put into play this way. This card deals each non villain target three lightning damage. Okay, well, that got rid of his damage reduction, so that's all right. And if we hit each other, we can get to move the bottom card of a deck to the top of that deck. Clockwork revenant deals no damage. All right, I'm going to play omnivore. Destroy a target with three or fewer HP. Gyrosaur gains X HP, where X is the amount of HP that target had before it was destroyed. You may shuffle your trash into your deck. So we're going to play this. We're going to destroy the Pallet Academic, because I don't like him. I think his usefulness has passed. We need to get rid of the Doctor, and we need to get rid of this guy. And yeah, I'll go ahead and shuffle my trash into my deck. Why not? So she has... Two crash cards, says the Gyro Stabilizer. So that's one to him, one to the Doctor, and one to the Damaged Revenant. Oh, and we have that power now, too. All right, she draws a card. That goes away. So I get normal-sized. Oh, yeah, I'm wasting that Predator's Eye. Oh, well. I will blow up the Compulsion Canister and hit Dr. Von Faust for 
four? Or should I hit Mythos for six? Hmm. Decisions. Now we need to get rid of him. I'll go ahead and play a card. Play the bottom card of my deck. Aha! Colossal left hook. I hit everything for one. Hit him for two. Oh, we're real close to killing Mythos, and he's gonna flip. I'm gonna take a risk, and I'll go ahead and hit him, hit him for four, and draw a card. Okay, put out Ezile because she's useful. I'm gonna use the Micro Assembler. We'll drop High Bathiel to get, where'd he go? It's a Farron's Compass in play, and draw a card. Reshiel, it's him for three, and the Doctor for two, and then Ezile heals the Naturalist for two. Awesome. Okay, this wears off. I can't quite kill him. Environmental Allies. And then I will go Gazelle. Draw a card. The block. Let's see. That doesn't destroy until the end of the environment turn. I'm Crazy Prisoner, which destroys the lockdown. Okay. The environment's just sitting here, you know, twiddling its thumbs. Okay. He flips at the end of this turn. Nothing else happens. Revelations. We are blue. Mythos regains 4 HP for each environment card in play. Two cards from the villain trash at the bottom of the villain deck. Um, let's see. What's not so terrible? Actually, Revelations isn't that terrible. Torn Page isn't that terrible. Let's get both of those out of there. Because we're blue, reduce damage dealt by hero targets by one until the start of the villain turn. That sucks. All right. End of the villain turn. We're not going to play any cards, so he will flip. To Leader of the Forgotten Order. When Mythos flips to the side, remove Dangerous Investigation from the game. All right. So now we know we no longer need to worry about blue cards. Activate any red, green, or blue effects that match the icon on top of the villain deck. Red reduces damage dealt to villain targets by one. Ouch. In the villain turn, the players may play the top card of the villain deck. Then if it's blue, you play the top card of the villain deck. If it's green, he deals each hero target H infernal damage. So you can play the top card. Now is when it's more important to know what's coming up. It's like, okay, can you deal with the damage reduction? If you can, then maybe you want to avoid the damage. That being said, he already played a card. This is the end of the villain turn. So we can play the top card of the villain deck, and then if it's blue, he plays the top card. If it's green, he deals everybody a damage. Well, okay, so we're gonna not play the top card, because the next one is red, except that's gonna get played. So no matter what happens, A, he's playing the top card, B, we're getting the damage reduction. Okay, so he will just play the top card of the villain deck which we already know is a torn page because it screwed up. So they have one damage reduction. This will be a nice round of nobody doing anything. He doesn't deal any damage. Clockwork Revenant, uh-oh, gets plus seven, so it's going to hit the highest for nine melee damage. Jeez. Malachi takes it on the chin. Villain target with the lowest HP deals the hero target with the highest HP to sonic damage. Red, Mythos deals the hero target with the highest HP, no infernal damage. And then he hits the highest for four. Dr. Von Faust searches for a Clockwork Revenant. If there had been one in the trash, I could have shuffled it in, but there isn't any, so he shuffles. They still have the damage reduction, and he hits everybody for three. Malachi is almost dead. This Revenant has a plus one to damage, so it hits the highest for three three. Ouch. And this is going off whenever a hero card is drawn. And we pretty much can't deal damage. Okay, we're gonna play Hyperspin. When this card owner's play, you may play a card. I will play Wrecking Ball. So, increase damage dealt by Gyrosaur to non-hero targets by one, so that cancels out this. When this card owner's play, Gyrosaur deals each target one melee damage. Each target, so that means she's dealing nothing to the heroes, two to everything else, and this increases damage dealt to environment targets by one, so it cancels out that. So I said two to everything else, so that's one to each of the villain targets. Boom, there goes the relic. Kills the time crazed prisoner. So if he would draw a crash card, play it instead, then destroy all copies of Hyperspin. So I remember people on the forums were saying, well, this card's kind of overpowered because you can just sit there and not draw cards, but it's like, yeah, you can sit there and not draw cards and not do anything. Like, I've got one card right now, I need cards in hand. I've only got rollout for a power. I have no crash cards, so I don't have at least two. So I will draw a card. That is a crash card. Sphere of Devastation. Discard all crash cards in your hand. Aw, oh, damn it. Gyrosaur deals a target X plus four melee damage, where X is four times the number of cards discarded this way. So I'm going to be dealing one target four damage. If Gyrosaur dealt more than ten damage this way, destroy all environment cards and each other player discards a card. Wow. This is her This is her big attack. Fortunately, it's not nearly as big as it could be, but I can hit him for three. That will get rid of his dumb ass. I did not deal more than ten damage, so nothing else happens except that hyperspin goes away. And I think that means... I'm not sure if that means I get to draw another card? I'm thinking about it like 
with the ninjas. When it would be drawn, it goes into play, and then you get to draw another card instead. No, I guess that means I do get to draw a card. Okay, definitely going to put a rebounding debilitator on him. Oh, he should have hit himself. Well, actually, no, he would not have hit himself for one. I'm dealing no damage. Yeah, if I use her power, she's dealing no damage to the villain target, so she's just going to draw a card. Okay, we're going to Shadow Catch for High Exile. Play High Exile. And then when you use her power, all Jin regain 2 HP, all of the hero targets regain 1 HP, destroy this card. Could be better, could be a lot worse. Draw a card. Rushiel is dealing no damage this round, but Exile will heal Malachi for 2. Indomitable Force. See if we can tank a little bit. Heal 3 with Gazelle and draw a card. The Block. Oh boy, Defensive Displacement. They still have that. I'm going to evaluate that at the end of the villain turn. Okay, Faithful Proselyte. And this card is play destroy two equipment cards. Um, let's drop that. Let's drop the Gyro Stabilizer because it's I don't have enough crash cards to make it useful. So he's going to deal each hero target H Infernal Damage. So he's actually dealing two Infernal Damage to each hero target. That's acceptable. So he'll hit Malachi for one, everybody else for two. Okay, the Clockwork Revenant is still dealing eight damage, which means he will take the Naturalist down to one. But he didn't kill him. Villain target lowest HP deals no damage. Mythos deals each non-hero villain target no damage twice. That Clockwork Revenant is doing two to the highest, which is her. And he's doing one to the highest, which is, uh, we'll say Skyscraper. Okay, that could have been way, way worse. So we're going to play Raptorian Shell. End of your turn, if you have zero crash cards in your hand, she deals another tier one through two psychic damage, which will be none at the moment. Power is play a crash card or discard cards from the top of your deck until you discard a crash card and put it in your hand. Terrifying momentum in my hand. And then she draws a card. And she deals no damage because she got a crash card. Oh, I got another ricochet. That's good. Linking incursion. Play that. Sure. Blazing resonator, which makes top card blue. Another rebounding debilitator. Oh, yeah, and I draw a card. And then I'm going to use my power to deal five irreducible damage to Mythos. I will not destroy any of those cards, so I will go back to normal. Don't deal any damage, but that's fine. Okay, so mile. I am using Zephyrin's Compass. Put a Jin back into my hand, and that will let me destroy up to X ongoing or environment cards, where X is one plus the number of Jin ongoings attached to that target. So I can destroy two environment or ongoing cards. I'm going to get rid of two of the ongoings. Draw a card. Exile is going to heal a naturalist. And then so mile is going to protect Gyrosaur. Okay, Dominable Force goes away. I am taking a risk. I am playing Cornered Beast. I am using its power to kill the Clockwork Revenant, even though I could really use those hit points. We can't have a card dealing us nine damage. All right, this goes away. That was actually really useful. And it's the Warden, and nobody cares. All right, Ritual Sight, Structure. Red, increased damage dealt by environment cards to hero targets by one. Oh, that's fine. At the end of the villain turn, this card deals each hero target one psychic damage if green. Okay, so we can work on getting rid of that. He's gonna play the top card, and that's gonna give us a red card no matter what happens. Kinda hate this. That's the Pallet Academic. So they have one damage reduction. When a hero target is dealt damage by another hero target, play the top card of the villain deck, because it's red. All right, that was his thing. He deals himself no damage, unfortunately. Whispers and Lies. The villain target with lowest deals the hero target with the highest two sonic damage. That's her. Lockwork Revenant is doing four. Almost kills her. He's doing three. Almost kills her. He's damage dealt by environment cards to hero targets by one. Doesn't matter. Oh, he was supposed to put all ongoings in the villain trash into play. That's bad, because I just got rid of those. You dick. Okay, red. Mythos deals the hero target with the highest HP for infernal damage. Oh, that's so mild. That's good. And then he does it again, so either Malachi or the Naturalist dies. Kind of feel like it should be the Naturalist, because we're real close to winning here. All right, white knuckling it. Ricochet. The target two melee damage. We can't wear down the Revenant, because that's going to increase its damage. Oh, wait, no, I need to use that to hit Mythos, because it's going to be one to him, and then I deal one one damage to something else, which means I, I deal nothing. Do I have any crash cards? I do, actually, but that's not enough to deal any damage. So let's play a crash card, leap out, and then draw a card. Okay, that very handily got me back up to having multiple crash cards in my hand. Colossal left hook, she gets big. I'm not going to bother doing it because she won't deal any damage. I'll hit Mythos for two, and then discard, play rest and recover. So she draws a card because she got small again. She heals one, she draws a card, and she puts a card from her trash into her hand. That's going to be a compulsion canister. Power. Play Link, Pulsion Canister, not going to set anything off. Oh, start of her turn, drop another Worldly Alignment. And then he'll hit the Proselyte for two. Play the bottom card of her hand. Ooh, yes, and we win. She gets small, she draws a card. We'll have Gyrosaur deal two, reduced to one melee damage to Mythos. That was a white knuckle ride. <laughs>
Man, I, I have to admit I really like that, though, because, like, on the front side with the whole investigating thing, that's actually a lot of fun. Everything interacts really, really tightly, all things considered. I mean, if the Paladin Academic is playing red cards, then that means, you know, there's only a certain group of cards that he can play ever. Maybe a little high on the damage? Maybe, maybe just a little high. There was a lot of H's in there. But it wasn't too high. I mean, we've got no more than three hit points to anyone's name. As for Gyrosaur, she really does give the impression of, you know, being kind of an out-of-control, spinning, wrecking ball monstrosity. I had a lot of fun playing her, and I love... Oh, man, I gotta go find the one card. I love the flavor text on her cards. I think it's... Yeah, Rapturian Shell. It's the turtle blinked. I didn't come from these sewers. I'm from space. Quicksilver just stared. The fact that she's like laying in this crater, you know, hiding under her shell. Oh my god, it's adorable. She's supposed to kind of be a takeoff on Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. She's got a card. Yeah, Reckless Alien Racing Tortoise. That's a play on TMNT. I really like her design. She's a lot of fun. I kind of feel like I want to keep playing her so she might show up in, in future videos. But that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember that Tabletop Simulator and the Re Reavers, Sentinels, and Cauldron DLC are not licensed greater than games products. Please support the official release. And big thanks to Reaver for putting both Mythos and Gyrosaur into that DLC so that I didn't have to do it myself. Flip.